Hey guys, Anthony here for Signal by Sony, a show about everything Sony makes. Joined in the studio again by Kenta from the Sony camera team. Hello, sir. Hello again. You have three new cyber shots here for us. Yes, I do. Very exciting products here. All these are CMOS models. They do wonderful videos, full HD, uh, 1080 uh, video. Some common features are really popular. Um, the panorama, 360 degrees. Right. Very cool. It also has an improved superior auto. So when it's really dark and when subjects are moving, now it's smart enough to capture the situations really well. Nice. And also um, we have picture effects. Now you can shoot those picture effects in video and also in the panoramas as well. Very nice. So these are these are some features that we've seen in the higher end cameras. Mm -hmm like the DSLRs, and now they are available in the CyberShot. In models. the CyberShots, and they're using it really good creatively, so we're really excited about that. Awesome, so let's jump in model by model here. Tell me about this guy. So this is, the red one is the WX300. It replaces the WX150. Um, it has the same image sensor, um, 18 megapixels, but um, what it has now is the improved zoom uh, magnification. Now this one, with this comp compact body, is now 20 times. And that's not a digital zoom, that's an optical oh. zoom. Right? Zoom. So it's a very high zoom, compact body camera. Very so, cool. Uh, what else is new on this guy? So this one also has Wi-Fi on it. So if you have a smartphone, you can uh, download Play Memories Mobile and pair your uh, smartphone with your camera to uh, share images. And also a really cool feature is remote viewing and remote capture as well. So yeah. That's awesome. I like that. So but while that is cool, like I like the idea of controlling my camera from my phone. If I have my phone out, mm -hmm. Why am I not using my phone? Why am I carrying a cyber shot? That's also a great question. We always get that. Um, you want a dedicated shooting device, like a point and shoot like this one, because you know if you're shooting at your, at an event, for example, shooting hundreds of images from using a smartphone, you're going to drain that battery really quickly. That is true. And at the end of the day, you're not going to be able to make phone calls. That's when a WX300 or something like this is going to be really helpful, because this one has a lot of stamina. It, this one shoots 500 images almost twice uh, twice as much uh, than a regular point of shoot. That's awesome. And, and I would imagine, you know, also, you, that 20 times optical zoom is not something you're going to get in a exactly. smartphone. That 18 megapixels is not something you're going to get in a smartphone either. Right. Anything else we should know about the WX300? So um, the flash technology is really advanced as well by uh, adjusting the EV uh, on the surrounding edge. So now it matches the center part of the image and also the outside part of it. Okay, so the flash is still the same power. It's still the same size, but you guys are using something in the software afterwards to Correct. brighten up the edges. Very cool. So uh, tell me about price and availability on this guy. So it'll be available in May. Um, it'll be available in either black, red, or white for about $330. Nice. So moving on, we have uh, one of the super zooms here. Yes. Tell me about this guy. So if 20X was not enough for you, we have a monster here. This is the HX300. Replaces the HX200B. Um, it's amazing because with optical zoom, you can now go all the way up to 50 times. That's insane. And then with clear <laughs> image zoom, with clear image zoom, it's 100 times. What kind of stabilization are we looking at? What they've done, the engineers at Sony, they re-engineered uh, re the whole image stabilization optics inside this camera, and they brought it towards more to the front of the lens. So what does that do? So as a result, you get about twice as more image stabilization than the HX200B, which wow. is a great improvement. That's great. So what else is improved here? In optimal lighting, you can uh, have AF in 0.1 second. So wow. extremely fast. Even, so what is what is optimal lighting, and then what is what like, is the autofocus when it's not normal? Yeah, so in daylight situations, okay. so you're bright sun. But even low light, even when you're in the afternoon, uh, the AF is really fast. It's 0.2 seconds wow, that's for great. acquisition. So finally here, it looks like we have got a new TX. It is, yeah. It's the TX30. It replaces the TX66 and the TX20. I love the design on these ones. It's I really a, do. It's a really nice design. Most people don't know it's waterproof, though. You know, it's such a sophisticated design. Waterproof. But I like that. Waterproof, shockproof. How proof. waterproof? So it goes all the way down to 33 feet underwater. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And you also get five times optical zoom, ten times with clear image zoom as well. So very capable camera. Uh, what's the size on the images? Uh, it's an 18 megapixel um, camera, so the same resolution as this one. Very nice. And obviously with a camera this small, we're looking at simplified physical controls. So how correct, do you kind of make correct. up for that? So uh, on the back you'll see a beautiful OLED screen. It's 3.3 inch, um, all touch screen as well. And you can use it underwater as well. What? Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. And the OLED is nice too. It's beautiful. It, 
It has a very low uh, latency, so the images are very smooth. Very nice. Any other new features on this guy that we should know about? Yeah, there's a really cool feature that um, we've, uh, we were shown. It's the LED light here. So most cameras have flashes um, off, off center yeah. um, from the lens, but when you have light right around the lens, that's kind of have, like having a ring light on a DSLR. So ring lights uh, on DSLRs are usually used for, for things like portraits or macro photography. Yep. Um, with, this, with this LED, I mean, is this a replacement for a flash in all situations, or what is this good for? This is really good for macro photography. Okay. When you're up close, but you don't have nice and even lighting, then this LED light comes on and evenly lights your um, subject. Very cool. So this is awesome. So when are we going to see this guy? So we're going to see this in April for about $350. The colors are really nice, too. It will be available in black orange, pink, and blue. Very nice. Kenta, thank you so much for coming by, showing these off. Uh, that'll do it for today. Be sure to check out more videos about all things Sony on our YouTube channel. For now, I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.